All right, for we just finished our posting our spot illustrations. Now we're going to go to our next unit, which is type design and poster design. Because what do you need to turn your spot illustration into a full kind of communication campaign? You'll need some sort of type and you'll need some sort of background for it. And the only thing in this unit is assignment six, right? But it has a few components. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our spot illustration that we just did and think about what type do we want to add to it? What text would make sense? You can make it a lot of text. You can make it a little bit of text. But then most importantly, how do you want to block that in? Where do you think it should fit on a 16 by 20 format around your illustration? So to do that, I can open up assignment five, like my, my full color assignment five, just as a PNG, open it with Photoshop. And if you set it up correctly, it will be 16 by 20 by 350 pixels per inch. And now you have just this free floating PNG, which you can transform, you know, Command T, and maybe shrink, rotate, you know, you can have fun with where you place it. And then to do a text blocking sketch, this is what I recommend. You make a new layer, you put it behind your PNG. Notice I'm not doing this on my, my PSD for coloring, because this is just sketching it out. I'm going to fill that background with white. You can also just do this on scratch paper, like I did, right? And then think, okay, if this is going to be a poster, I might have a background with a border looks something like this. Let's just pick a generic color because it's the campus. Maybe I'll pick kind of a, a bluish tone. Then I'll just fill that in. Or maybe I'll even just fill it in with a gradient. Why not? So something like that, right? Okay, now I don't have a lot of room for type this way, right? So on a new layer, this is what I'm going to call my type blocking or my text blocking. I'm not going to write the words I want. I'm just going to draw in with my brush kind of the space I want the type to take up. So maybe there and there, right? That can work. Or I can try it a different way. I can duplicate it. And maybe I shrink it more. And then I just run the type blocking underneath it. But do I do it at an angle? You know, what does the type look like? Maybe the type even overlaps the, the border of the poster, right? And then maybe I can get away with making it a little bit bigger then. Maybe it runs side to side. These are your options. So here we have type blocking as it relates to your spot illustration. Next, we have to learn how to make it into a clean vector. And when you're doing type, it's a little bit different than just drawing symbols or graphics because you have to really pay attention to the space in between the letters. That's called the, the kerning. And sometimes this starts with a standard typeface, the Stranger Things design, but then it really plays with the kerning where it allows some of them to bleed and overlap together to create tension. And that leads to the final type design, which then is incorporated with this, the spot illustration in the, in the background to create posters, right? Here are some different kind of design type sketches, and these all get turned into vectors for final type design. Here are some more poster layouts, on and on and on. So step one, is to figure out your text blocking. And so this is my text blocking. I am inspired by like the TikTok kind of 
typography. And so in assignment six, I have this sketch of my text blocking and I can just layer that in and play with how that type might fit on a 16 by 20 poster. And I think it can fit like this or because that was one solution, right? If I put it on multiply mode, I can see how that can kind of work as a poster, right? And the, the type can overlap my character. Or I can split it up to be above and below. And this will set me up well for working on this assignment from home on Monday. So what would that look like? Well, I use my, my type blocking <laughs> and I pretty much got it right on. But I just place these in and then it can work that way. And I can try out some different solutions, right? The next step, once you have your text blocking sketch is to either hand draw the type this is what i'll be showing in the videos that I, I send you an inbox message for so you can work on your at home on monday you can either just completely design them yourself in illustrator or you can modify existing typefaces and there's some certain tools within the assignment that really help with that like the default tool which uh, helps you find typefaces that you're allowed to use, especially for, for student work. So we'll be talking about defont.com and, and all of these different type effects. All right. Like on defont, I might even find a typeface that someone has already posted similar to TikTok. But no, not yet. <laughs> that would be too easy. Okay, so I'll see you guys next Wednesday, but you'll see videos for me for working from home on Monday. And have a happy solar eclipse day. All right, that's our intro to us.